बता चुका हूँ मैं इस वक्त उस क्वेश्चन को एड्रेस कर रहा हूँ जो ये आया था कि जी एग्जिस्टिंग लॉ बिकॉज 56 के रूल्स एग्जिस्टिंग लॉ हैं एंड 191 के नीचे वो लॉ की उसमें आ जाएंगे एंड देर फोर जो हमने सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने रूल्स बनाए हैं दे आर परफेक्टली ऑल राइट दे कुड ओनली बी एंड नॉट इंक्लूड नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स रूल एज एग्जिस्टिंग लॉ एज एग्जिस्टिंग लॉ no but my question to you is are the supreme court rules 1980 currently framed are they law no not within not the law. meaning of 191 no ji not within the meaning of 191 and let me please try to let me uh, try to explain I mean, it i i am saying isko explain kar lene de taaki at least wo question address ho jaye no one word answer is no they are not law they are not they cannot be treated as obviously they cannot they are not law within the meaning of 191 because otherwise the argument is circular How can the how can this the uh, yes I mean, yes my lord is right but, but my lord can complete what you are saying yes no, no, that's no, right leaving that aside I am still curious are the rules forget 190 uh, the use of word law in 191 my question is more general are the Supreme Court rules 1980 law or not the Supreme Court rules 1980 regulating practice and procedure cannot. be called law within the meaning of 191 so but isn't extent, isn't it answer. law under the question. constitution under the constitution say ye nahi says na by or under the constitution so this is something mandated yeah. under the constitution yeah. it derives uh, its are your right? rules of no no are your rules of business made under article uh, 99 are they law mujhe ek cheez aap mujhe bataiye mujhe ek cheez are attorney general sir ek cheez zara mujhe address kar lenge the ordinary statement which i are the rules of business made under article 99 law or not my lord uh, my submission is that in the Can broader sense in, in a broader sense yes they would yes. be they would have the, the meaning of the law rules, for the purposes of regulating the, the rules, rules of, of the government yes are the yes, rules yes, of the yes. national assembly rules yes. of procedure made yes. under article yes 60. my answer to your question was that for the purposes of 191 that they cannot not, be called but that was not my question generally speaking yes mukil sir that was not my question sir maine kaha generally speaking yes generally That's speaking nahi ek but generic question aap okay. se main abhi to address kar raha hu aur cheez abhi address hi aur cheez kar raha hu hum aapko portion pe jaye law uh, rule making power di hai executive ko bhi legislature ko bhi supreme court ko absolutely sawal ye hai jo executive ne apne rules of business banaye hain in exercise of powers under the constitution are they law yes yes first they are law जो लेजिस्लेचर ने अपने रूल्स ऑफ बिजनेस बनाए हैं आर दे लॉ इफ दे आर लॉ देन वाई आर द रूल्स ऑफ बिजनेस रूल्स ऑफ प्रोसीजर फ्रेम्ड बाय द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन एक्सरसाइज ऑफ पावर्स ग्रांटेड बाय द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द सेम पावर्स विच द लेजिस्लेचर हैज द सेम पावर्स विच हैज द एग्जेक्टिव है नॉट लॉ इसी को ही मैं एड्रेस करना चाह रहा हूँ जी करें आपने कहा कि जो हमारे रूल्स थे 1956 के 56 को जो 18 अच्छा, की बात कर उसको नहीं उसको अगर हम एक तरफ रख दें देखिंग लॉ एंड दस the term law including those uh, meaning those 1956 rules if that is accepted i need not make no, it no i'm not accepting no, no, what i'm saying is aap 80 ke rules ki baat kare wo law hai ya nahi hai <laughs> mujhe aap pehle wo address to karne the ab aap usko accept nahi kar rahe mujhe submission us pe complete to kar rahe hain if i if i understood you correctly you say 
1980 के जो रूल्स हैं वो अंडर द टर्म लॉ आते हैं हावेवर इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ 191 यू कैन नॉट कंसिडर देम एज एज लॉ बिकॉज देन द इंटायर क्रॉस देन देर विल बी कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन विद इन द लेटर ऑफ नाइनटी ऑफ आर्टिकल वन एट लॉ यही कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन है जो उस आर्ग्यूमेंट में है या उस पॉइंट में है कि जी वो बिकॉज एग्जिस्टिंग लॉज में आते थे speaking for myself an extraordinary uh, submission so i want to be sure i understand it okay. now you say 1956 rules are not existing law but you say that the supreme court rules of 1980 oh, no. are law in the broader sense of the term but, right I, I, please rephrase me uh, rephrase uh, let me rephrase myself uh, what i said was that they would be existing laws they would be existing laws covered under 268 7 but they cannot be termed or treated as law within the meaning of term law used in 191 that's what i'm saying main samajh gaya hu baat but i still i'm you know, the reason i'm asking this question is that rule 1 sub rule 2 of the supreme court rules which you say is law specifically says the supreme court rules 1956 are hereby revoked yes so both have to be law both have to be law otherwise in 1980 the supreme court could have said there are no laws there is the supreme court rules in 1956 don't never existed they ceased to exist when this constitution came into being we don't need to revoke them so 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 Are what they, this means is main aapki baat to samajh gaya hu beta nahi aap meri submission to sab jo aap farma rahe hain main usko samajhne ki koshish kar raha hu main ye keh raha hu are baat to sun le na आपने जो आर्टिकल आपने जो आर्टिकल 268 पढ़ा क्लॉज 1 पढ़ा दैट इज दैट से सब्जेक्ट टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड सो इट इज पॉसिबल इज इट नॉट दैट द 1956 रूल्स वर एग्जिस्टिंग लॉ यस बट दे द द पावर टू अमेंड एग्जिस्टिंग लॉ विद इन द मीनिंग ऑफ क्लॉज 1 आर्टिकल 268 वाज सब्जेक्ट टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द रूल्स ऑफ 1956 were the rules that applied in terms of the rule making power not law rule making power of article 191 and therefore and therefore the same pro- i want to say problem issue i would say in relation to any legislation affecting amending mm-hmm. restricting repealing whatever the 1956 rules applied as it does now in the context of this proposition before us this act versus the 1980 rules exactly the same position applied would you agree with that yes 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 thank you and that is why thank you. that is why i would just Hello, conclude by this submission by saying that when when आपने जो 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 पूरा पूरा अपना बहस आपने जो पूरी अपनी बहस शुरू की है, वो आपने किसी और बेसिस पे शुरू की है। आप अपने आर्गुमेंट्स करते हैं तो ये सारे मसले आप लिए खड़े नहीं होते तो yes, no like माहौल भी जरा ठंडा रखते हैं ऑन अ लाइट नोट लॉयर वॉज क्रॉस बैटरिंग lady in cross during cross examination uh, or, no sorry the husband representing the lady and he said have you stopped beating your wife answer yes or no so <laughs> keep it things light <laughs> and move ahead so i'll just conclude my submission this submission by saying that the 1980 rules or the 1956 rules though they were existing laws when the constitution came in but saying that they were the law within the meaning of article 191 would be a contradiction okay can i ask a question aage chalta hu ye ek sawal sun le ke aap ye keh rahe hain ke waise to the rules are law but for the purposes of 191 they are not law now wherever the word law has been used what principle of interpretation will be applied to see whether these rules or any other rules will be applicable there in the term law or not the reason i asked this question is that the first day my question to you was that if 
subject to the constitution and the law meant law just an act of parliament to the exclusion of everything else then maybe the word law was not the right word so when we look at the word law we have to read something more than just an act of parliament mm. so the act of parliament is there but other things are there now you are saying usme se aap ye rules nikal le because yahan rules nahi apply honge then in some other provision rules dal de because wahan rules apply honge so there doesn't appear to be any principle of law that one is following on the basis of which one would determine where to use what part of law ye isme learned attorney general roz nama kudrat ki video dekhne ke liye abhi youtube channel pe subscribe kare aur bell icon par bhi click kare